We have breaking news fresh out of Japan. What did he say? Oh, oh wait. You don't understand that? My bad. I got you. <laughs> they said my boy Naya in a way just inked a deal worth three billion 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 yen. Damn. I'm sorry. That's about 20 million of them strillers. You know what I'm talking about? Check this out as we dive into this new deal between Naya Inoue and Big Turk and what it means for the monster. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, Box and Talk family? It's your boy, Dr. PGNGM. Praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Y'all know what time it is. The Dax is in the house. So check this out, man. We have now yet, in a way, the monster signing the deal with Big Turk. You know, Turkey Alashi got a Riyadh season. And apparently, this sponsorship is going to see him participate in Riyadh season. I think this is great news because if you paid attention to this channel, we've been a big advocate for now yet, in a way, to fight outside of Japan. No, it's not because it's indicative of a lack of challenges in Japan but if he you know wants to spread his name and build his profile abroad then it would behoove him to fight in other locations it doesn't have to be in America it could be in Australia again and I know he's been to America before it could be in England I know he's been to England before it could be in, in, in Nigeria it could be in Jamaica it could be in South America it could even be in Saudi Arabia so it doesn't mean that he hasn't fought outside Japan before like I said he's fought out of Japan four times Everybody knows that, but to build his brand, then I think it'll be it'll make himself more accessible to others in various locations, especially geographically. So, you know, like I typically, like I said in Japan, you know, when this fights come on, it's about four o'clock in the morning on a Tuesday. How we had the club going up? got the club going up on a Tuesday, you know, so that's just not very conducive with people's schedule on the on the Western Hemisphere, you know. However, however, you know. It doesn't it's not it doesn't mean that he's not a capable fighter or he needs to prove himself but just to build his branch like any other fighter it would help if they fought in other locations you know so i think this is good i think this is a, this is indicative of that potentially happening with big turk um so let's think about some of the fights that could potentially transpire right well we know if he fights outside of japan guess what Maybe we could get that John Rio Casimero fight. You know, our, our hitter out of, out of the Philippines who's been wanting that fight and had a major setback after he got suspended after beating Saul Sanchez in one round. He got suspended for a year because he missed weight by the JBC, the Japan Boxing Commission. Now, if he fights with Riyadh and he doesn't fight in Japan, well, then we could potentially get that fight. Now, I want to be very clear. I think Naya Inouye beats John Rio Casimero. I've always said that, but I think it's a very intriguing matchup. And I think John Rio Casimero could win, you know, with the power that he has. Um, and then let's think of some other fights, right? Of course, we got Juto Nakatani. But in my opinion, Juto Nakatani, that's unnecessary, right? You don't have to do a Riyadh season to fight Juto Nakatani because that's an in-house matchup as far as location, right? They're both Japanese boxers. So that fight could happen with or without uh, a Big Turk sponsorship or him facilitating facilitating the fight but you know anything can happen and it does that fight is very intriguing so i wouldn't be mad at that either now of course die anyways fighting sam goodman in december good lord willing you know december 24th to be exact and you know he's gonna fight the undefeated australian and if he beats him, which I think that he will, you know, no, no discredit to Sam Goodman, but I think Naya anyway is gonna prove too much for him, then you know he could fight some other people in the super band and weight division like elijah pierce but i don't think too many people know him right and there's but most famously if mj akmadaliev wins his matchup we could potentially see that fight as well you know because uh he's at the w he's a he's a he's a he's a mandatory excuse me for the wba right but also most importantly this is the most intriguing move right is that now you in a way has been flirting and teasing with potentially potentially moving up to 126 a featherweight division right there's a lot of hitters that would add some excitement to his already spectacular resume you know a profile so i think him fighting potentially rafael el divino espinosa a featherweight champion hey even nick ball a featherweight champion you know so we have a mexican featherweight champion espinosa we have an english featherweight champion in um and nick ball not to mention angelo leo who's american you know he's from he's new mexican he's from new mexico um but you can fight angelo leo and the other champion is who i'm um, uh, uh ray vargas just got stripped right so i believe brandon figueroa another american who just got moved up who will be fighting a former adversary of naya in a way in 
and uh, Stephen Fulton, who already beat Brandon Figueroa at 122, but now they're meeting again at 126. So him teaming up with um, with uh, Big Turk, I think is very intriguing and interesting. Now, I know a lot of people are going to jump off the deep end and say, oh, well, we could potentially get a him versus Tank or or now you anyway versus Lomachenko. I want to be mad at those fights, but I think that's a little too much. You know, like Tank and, and Lomachenko are at 135, well, Lomachenko is supposedly contemplating retirement, right? So So if I don't even know he's an active player, but I see some people say Shakur and stuff like that. Like, hold on, that's a little much. But you know, Tank has said he could make 130, Javante Davis, and if now you in the way could make 126 to feel comfortable, maybe they could fight at the catch weight at 128. But like I said, I'm not really looking forward to that fight. Uh, if it happens, you know, I'm gonna tune in, you know, and I think Tank's gonna rock his world, you know what I'm talking about? No, did he? But as far as um as far as it actually happening, I'm more realistic with my boxing fandom. I prefer to see him. If he moves up to 126, have some fights there. Of course, you got the prospect Shushu Carrington and some other fighters as well that are more intriguing to me than a fantasy fight or a dream fight between him and any and, and Tank in particular, but anybody else, including Lomachenko at 135. You know, I, I think there's a lot of fighters that that are that are uh, deserving of the matchup that along the way. And then you know, a lot of people are talking about even Bam Rodriguez. So really, I think Bam Rodriguez at 115 once again, I think is a little too small. But you know, they can meet they can meet up. You know, I just think right now for the imminent future, I would prefer. Uh, a big Turk to facilitate some of the fights with some guys at 122 like MJ Akhmadaliev uh, or and Jario Casimero potentially or um, guys at 126 like the champions there man like De uh, Rafael Espinosa hey even Robisi Ramirez they're fighting their rematch but Robisi Ramirez versus Naya anyway would be fire that'd be a great fight so let me know what y'all think about that what do you expect uh, to come out of this matchup between uh, or this pairing with Naya anyway and Big Turk which matchups we be looking forward to the most and if you like to see Javante and, and, and Naya mix it up let me know in the comments as well. Like I said, I would prefer to see, you know, some, a lot of other fights first, like 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 Ebdi Akbadali, John Real Casimero, and some fighters at featherweight before we talk about uh, Tank and Naya anyway. But y'all, y'all, let me know, man. That's what we talk about in the comments. So don't forget to hit that like button. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.